Element Lion done. If you wanted to see how I managed to finish that, stick around. G'day ladies and gents, welcome to x Art. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me and today you're going to be seeing my second Joker card completed. Uh, this Joker card is a part of my Element Collection deck and uh, these animals all represent different elements. The deer is representing element earth, the eagle is representing uh, air, the dolphin which is representing water and the lion which is representing fire. I also have a element ladies uh, joker card of which I'll put a, a pop-up card up here uh, for you to view for those who are interested. So here we go. Okay the art supplies I used here are three types of pastels. Soft pastels, pan pastels and pastel pencils. The surface I'm using here is a blue 70 by 50 centimeter pastel mat board by Claire Fontaine. Pastel mat also comes in sheets and various sizes and colors. I also used uh, soft tools by Pan Pastel and various painting brushes. Um, which also includes uh, makeup brushes um, of which I've talked about in length in my previous videos and I'll put, put a uh, pop-up uh, link here or pop-up card for those who may not have seen uh, or may not know how or curious to see how, how they work. I have to say every painting that I, that I do I learn new tricks uh, by experimenting with different techniques and in this painting I certainly did that. Uh, as mentioned previously, uh, animals is something that I don't paint often but uh, with a little determination and patience I think I managed to to pull it off and feel happy uh, with how this painting turned out considering my skill level. Uh, I know that I can only get better with practice. So I had the concept in my head and went hunting for references which I thought would be appropriate. Uh, the images I used uh, are royalty free images which um, I've purchased and made sure to get high resolution photos. Um, that's really really important. I feel that it's very very important that you do that. Um, that way you can actually pick up and you know make sure that you get all the details in because sometimes it's you know if you have a bad photo or a bad photo reference it, it does come out um, in the end in your painting so yeah. So as usual I try to block in areas with darks and lights and medium values and I try not to think about um, any kind of detail um, especially in the beginning. Um, I really get impatient though that's something this is one of my um, uh, down points here for me. Um, yeah, I get really impatient and it's very tempting for me to go in with details but avoid it most of the, well, most of the time. Um, and well, this surface is larger than I normally paint and sometimes I feel, uh, I feel intimidated by the whole size of this painting but um, these Joker cards uh, had so much detail and I thought that, um, that the A3 size uh, pastel mat sheets uh, could not do this composition justice so that's why I also divided um, these painting sessions in parts. So when I look um, at this painting as a whole um, I, had, I had many challenges uh, throughout this painting uh, for example my element animal deer had me scratching my head um, it was and it wasn't until I, I painted in the details that it actually looked like a deer. Element Animal Dolphin was the easiest of all, but not as easy as I thought it would. Um, I had to use so many colors and various shades, and I wanted this dolphin to give the, the appearance of it glistening, so, or making or you know giving the impression that sort of water was rolling off its back so 
that was my challenge there. And then my element eagle was a separate challenge altogether because now I had to paint in feathers. So how does one make a bird like an eagle um, look like it's got feathers, especially an eagle which looks as majestic as this one? So now onto the lion, the king of beasts. Uh, I hope I made him look as strong as I had envisaged in my head. This fellow, I think, is the most uh, was the most challenging of all, because he's the only animal which is uh, a full length, um, or appears to have a full length uh, proportion here, and not portrait size as the others. Um, I just felt that it would probably work better for the composition. Um, but you know, if there are any questions that uh, you'd wanted to ask me uh, related to um, to this picture here that I've been painting, um, happy to answer them. Uh, please leave your comments in the comment section below. But um, yes, yeah, so I'll just let you view the rest of the demonstration. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching. Uh, if this is the first time you've viewed my videos and you wanted to see more of my videos, uh, particularly in this Element Collection deck, I'll put a little pop-up card up here again. Um, but if you wanted to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit that icon button. That way you'll get notified as to when I um, upload my videos. But until the next time, bye for now.